Hello everyone and welcome to Kimball Curiosities. Yes, there hasn't been a video on this channel for a while and for that I apologize. Hopefully you'll start seeing more, uh, more content on a regular basis. Without further ado, let's get into today's subject. As we're all aware, yesterday, no, not yesterday, I apologize, two days ago, AMD had a keynote speech at Commutex 2022 regarding the release of the Ryzen 7000 CPU. I'm specifically not going to delve too much into it. I'm going to talk more about whether or not you should buy the 5000 series Zen 3 architect or wait and buy the one in the fall, the 7000 in the fall. And I'm going to give the pros and cons of each. But before that, let's just briefly go over what the 7000 series has. And if you want a further detail, check out the keynote speech or other YouTube channels regarding the more detailed in, uh, information about the 7000. What the 7000 series will be is a 5 nanometer Zen 4 architect. It will double the amount of L2 cache per core. It will also run at a higher clock speed, up to 5.5 they have shown, uh, gigahertz. It will also be DDR5 only memory and will contain PCI Express Gen 5 uh, instruction lanes. With that, it will also come with a new socket type. It's called the AM5 platform and it will have a 1718 pin LGA design. What does that mean? Well, the pins have now moved from the CPU onto the motherboard, just like Intel's uh, CPU. The other thing, uh, it will come with three new motherboards. The first one, the low end, will be the B650, and then the X670, and then the X7 Extreme. You can check out what each one is and what to contain. Um, as, but I will talk, I'll go further into it as I talk about the pros and cons. That's about the main part of the changes from the current to 5,000, Ryzen 5,000 and the 6,000 to the 7,000 series. Now, question is, should you buy now or should you wait? Well, that depends on what you want to do. If you're an enthusiast, then yeah, by all means, wait, get the latest and greatest. Uh, as somebody who had just upgraded last year and had a Intel 950, that, that 950 still performed all my tasks, my gaming and everything else, rendering for quite a while. Um, it was only up until now that I wanted to do more content for YouTube and, uh, streaming online for my Twitch channel that I upgraded to the new platform, the 5900 series, uh, the 5900. Well, upgrading now, it all depends, as I said before, on your needs. If you're an enthusiast, by all means, go for it. If you're somebody who was like me and has an older CPU, I would say, again, it all depends on your needs. If you're wanting to wait and get the fastest CPU and PCI Express Lane lines because you're doing a lot of rendering and a lot of graphics intensive programming, then yeah, I would wait. If you're somebody who's just a gamer, you're not going to see a performance difference at this current time buying the 50, the 5000 series or the 12th gen Intel or the 11th gen versus waiting for the AMD 7000 or the new Intel chip that's gonna be coming out. They haven't announced it, but it's probably coming out. The issues at hand is, let's take a look. Yeah, everybody says, hey, get PCI Express Gen 5, faster speed, double the bandwidth. Well, here's the problem. Gen 4 just came out in 2019 when it was adopted by AMD, and then in 2020 by Intel. Um, they haven't utilized the full bandwidth that that is being offered. Sure, you're going to buy, you're future-proofing yourself, but there's no guarantee that AMD is not going to force you to get another motherboard when they bring out the next-gen upgrade to the Zen 4. 
Uh, they didn't even like, unlike what they did this time or last time where they guaranteed four years to five years with the current, uh, Zen, uh, um, technology to stay with the same socket type. They didn't guarantee it this time that they're going to stay with the AM, AM five socket set for the next four years. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, another issue at hand is DDR RAM 5. Yeah, it's the latest and greatest and fastest, but as we're finding out with the 12th gen, which has compatibility with DR, DDR4, DDR5, there are issues and bugs, small little hiccups with the uh, DDR5. Um, 12th gen is a heat hog and is causing issues. And uh, what does the uh, 7000 series heat dissipation going to be like? Who knows? Into, uh, AMD it didn't say. Uh, the only thing that they did say is that your current existing water cooler will fit the socket. So that's a good point. So you don't have to get out the whole thing and replace everything. Uh, you just have to replace the motherboard and the CPU. That being said, it could end up being that it's one uh, it's a heat hog just like the Intel. Who knows yet? You don't know that information in, until it comes out. Um, if you're a graphics intensive person that requires a lot of programming for rendering and stuff, then I would say wait and take your chances on. That. Uh, if you're just a gamer, I would say right now, Buy the 5000 series and uh, go with it and wait a couple of years while the new socket type gets hashed out and the new architect because there are going to be bugs in it and uh, who knows what's going to happen down the line. Whereas you, this is what you do know and you're not going to see a significant performance enhancement buying the 5000 versus the 7000 in regards to gaming or speed wise of loading and everything else. I'd wait a couple of years and then go ahead and upgrade. Don't sit there and say, Ooh, shiny new, shiny new and spend the money when you don't necessarily need to, because you could end up right now, graphics cards are going to still be fairly expensive. So save your time, buy a lower end, uh, uh CPU, and buy a higher end GPU because right now the current GPUs are working in the current tr current CPUs. Like I, and I, as I said before, I had a i7 950, and the only reason I upgraded was because of the graphic parts. Wired me too. Other than that, I would have stuck with the 950 and to do all my perform uh, workload right now. I may I may have upgraded because I was I like I said I've been doing more YouTube videoing and vi or rendering, but right now I wouldn't upgrade. I would have bought now even if I had an older one, older CPU, say the th uh, fifth or sixth gen Intel and maybe the Zen uh, three thousand. I think it is the uh, AMD. I would probably just buy the and uh, right now because prices are are slowly coming down. That's all I got to say in regards to whether or not you should upgrade or not. Um, again, don't always go for the bells and whistles. Always look at what your budget is and what you're planning on doing. Simple as that. Yes, it's nice to have the latest and greatest, but then you're paying a price. And it could be in two years' time, and this is what I'm predicting, is that there's going to be leaps and browns that everything your 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 processor is going to be out of date within a year. It's already happened when Intel released the 11th and then the 12th within like six months. And is AMD going to do the same thing? Who knows? This is a new architect coming out and they probably have something already to be on the line and boom out. So I would wait buy now and then wait if you're just a PC gamer and maybe a, even a online streamer buy now and wait a couple of years to upgrade uh, uh, when the prices drop. Even wait till the last minute. You could wait till the last minute and then buy the older generation and wait two years. Because prices will drop when the new product comes out, both on the motherboards as well as the 
uh, CPUs. Anyways, if you like what you what I've said, hit the like button down before. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Comments are always welcome as long as they're respectful. And uh, that's basically all I have to say. So take care and peace out.